What is going on guys, Tempest is here with another video and today we're talking about Call of Duty World War 2's new map, Egypt, and there's a new video that Call of Duty just released and is a map briefing on it and they just talk about how they designed the level and all the flanking routes that there is on the levels and yeah, they just explain the map all together and it looks really gorgeous to me. It looks nice, hopefully it plays as good as it looks. And I cannot wait to try it because I haven't bought a DLC in such a long time. I think my last DLC that I have ever bought was probably Black Ops 2. And yeah, that just tells you that their map packs these days aren't as good as it was before. Just my opinion. I didn't really think about buying a DLC map pack in a long time. And just looking at DLC map pack 2, I might have to buy it just because uh, the maps in World War 2 are getting really stale. And, you know, just playing the same old maps over and over again. And the World War 2 maps aren't even, you know, one of the best maps in Call of Duty history. And, you know, honestly, this map pack looks nice. Dunkirk, Egypt, V2, all those three. I can't wait to see the next two map briefings. That include Dunkirk and B2 because those other two maps are very interesting. And hopefully it wins back some fans to try to play the game again. And I know it's not free. Probably if they make this... Well, I'm pretty sure that if they make these map packs free, a lot of people will be playing. But, you know, it's Activision. That's just how it is. Uh, we're not going to see that anytime soon. And a lot of AAA games still do this. You know, the season pass for the one year. And that's just how it works nowadays. But this could be the time i actually purchase if it gets good reviews and i'm hoping it will because this is call of duty's last chance to you know bring some fans back into the series and with black ops 4 as well and i'm still hoping for a Modern warfare 2 remastered and i cannot wait for that if that ever happens i will just be mind blown if i ever see that happening just even a teaser and I know this could happen this month because they have just announced Spyro Remastered. It is called the Spyro Reignited Trilogy and it does look good because this is one of my favorite childhood games. I think this is one of my first games. I, yeah, it is my first game probably I ever played in my life on the PS1. And, you know, just looking at it again just brings back so much memories and I can't wait to try it out again. And if they just announce Mall Over 2 Remastered right after that, you know, my life will be complete. You know, we just got Spider-Man PS4. Spider-Man PS4. Oh my goodness. I'm such a big fan of Spider-Man. Not gonna lie. And when they just announced, you know, the release date, that is not too far. I actually expected it to be delayed. But, you know, Insomniac, I really trust them. They're such a talented developer. They make... Ratchet and Clank games I played as a child, and also Sunset Overdrive, which I tried and I really like that one. So I cannot wait for this year because, or the end of the year, because there's so much stuff coming out, all these new games coming out, and I'm also gonna be broke by then if I, you know, buy all these games because damn, it's gonna it's gonna be a crazy year. You know, I just can't wait for the future of, you know, Call of Duty, I guess, and, you know, all these new games coming out, which is very exciting for me. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this gameplay here. I was just using the M19, the Cook variant for it, and I really like it because of the fire rate and, you know, just the way it looks. I just like the aesthetic for it. I've been using the Thrive a lot and I kind of got bored of it so I started using, you know, other guns such as, you know, the new Sten variant that I got, the Royal Skull. Really recommend it. I put a Saboteur with MK2s, two of them. And yeah, it's a beast of a weapon, I'm telling you. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just giving you guys an update. So thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Turn on post notifications the like button comment down below and 
you know, leave some suggestions because I would love to hear some. And let me know your thoughts on DLC 2. That is the question of the day. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.